group picture to celebrate a decade of Mission Motorsport. Gathered here at Thruxton Circuit, so many of the people who've either helped or benefited from the charity at the place where it all began in 2012. Thruxton's been a big part of our life since the beginning and for me we do we get to do some amazing things and it has been wonderful sort of reflecting just looking back at just how far we've traveled over the course of the last 10 years. Over the years many of those initially helped by the charity have ended up working for it putting something back. People like Linda Noble here instructing on the skid pan. Linda says Mission Motorsport has transformed her life after she had to be medically discharged from the army. So when I first got discharged from the army, I was stuck in the house. I felt that I couldn't do anything because of mental health and the, the physical disabilities I've got. I was sort of stuck. Then one day I received an email to go and do race makers down in Silverstone with the Formula One. Then we progressed from there and I've done, the charity saved me in a way because it's got me out of the house, given me a focus again. So now it's my chance now to give that little bit back and help others put, go through the same thing. One of the charity's longest serving supporters is Lionel O'Connor, here demonstrating his skill off-road. He lost a leg on operations in Afghanistan and admits his life and that of his family were turned upside down. The opportunities that Mission Motorsport has given him over the past nine and a half years, including competitive driving, has literally saved his life. It's been an incredible journey for me. Um, it's taken me, it's taken me, um, it's taken me on on various different paths that I never thought possible. You know, motorsport's something that everyone can do, um, regardless of disability. And um, uh, yeah, it's just it's it's given me it's given me a new like a new a new focus, a new thing to you know to head towards. And, and it's, I think it's given my family some um, you know it's, it's allowed my family to see. The, 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 other, the, the other me, do you know what I mean? The, the old me as, as such. The charity's role has evolved over the past decade. An offshoot, Mission Automotive, has focused on training. More than 2,000 people have found jobs in the British motor industry, nearly 1,100 with Jaguar Land Rover alone, and more are signing the Armed Forces Covenant. So there's some amazing opportunities for people in the automotive industry who are leaving, uh, who are leaving the armed forces. And lots around the changes in the industry, like electrification, actually presents amazing opportunities for service folk who might not realise that that uh, comms qualification that they have or the generator experience that they have actually makes them very well suited to be able to, uh, to do something in automotive. Uh, there are incredible opportunities right now. And so I think for those who are thinking about leaving the services, you can be secure that there's a very good future out there for you. So there's no rush, but when you do, that you and your family have got good opportunities. And that's in no small part down to the work of Mission Motorsport. Looking forward to the next 10 years. John Lyson, Forces News, Thruxton.